Clive James is a man of innumerable abilities. He's uh, a non-fiction writer, a novelist, a critic, a columnist, a cultural commentator, a television presenter. He's tremendous value on any TV talk show, whether as interviewer or interviewee. And he's also a poet. The best of his abilities, though, I think, is his talent for writing hilariously and movingly about 20th century childhood. I'm not sure there's anyone who has ever done that better than he did in the first volume of his autobiography, Unreliable Memoirs. Um, I would go so far as to say that Unreliable Memoirs is for uh, pure pleasure, one of the great books of the 20th century uh, written in English. Um, lest it be thought that I'm overselling it slightly, um, I should note that minds far more eminent than mine share that opinion. Um, in, and uh, John Kerry, for example, included it in his book and his uh, running series in the Sunday Times Culture section called Pure Pleasure, uh, as one of the top 50 books of the 20th century, alongside works like The Great Gatsby and uh, Joyce's Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man. The ability to write brilliantly about childhood, though, is not something that James has funneled solely into prose. He also uses it in his first writing. He uses it particularly brilliantly in my favourite poem from his latest book, uh, volume of poetry, which is called Angels Over Elsinore, quick plug there, Angels Over Elsinore, uh, collected verse 2003 to 2008. In my favourite poem from the book, which I'm about to read for you now, uh, he discusses the same territory that he discusses unreliable memoirs, but does so in a way that once seems both exactly as we would expect him to do it, and yet original and very different from the way he does it in unreliable memoirs, and yet the effects of being funny and moving uh, are exactly the same. The poem is called When We Were Kids. When we were kids, we fought in the mock battle with Ned Kelly cap guns, and we opened the cold bottle of Shelley's lemonade with a scout belt buckle. We cracked the passion fruit and sipped the honeysuckle. When we were kids, we licked the thundercracker under the fruit tin, and we sucked the all-day sucker. We opened the shoebox to watch the silkworms spinning, cocoons of cirrus with oriental cunning. When we were kids, we were sunburned to a frazzle. The beach was a griddle. You could hear us spit and sizzle. We slept face down when our backs came out in blisters. Teachers were famous for throwing blackboard dusters. When we were kids, we dive-bombed. When we were kids, we dive-bombed from the tower. We floated in the inner tube. We bowled the rubber tyre. From torn balloons, we blew the cherry bubble. Blowing up Frenchies could get you into trouble. When we were kids, we played at Cockalorum. Gutter to gutter, the boys ran, harem scalem. The girls ran slower, and their arms and legs looked funny. You weren't supposed to drink your school milk in the dunny. When we were kids, the licorice came in cables. We traded hubba bubba bubble gum for marbles. A new Connie agate was a flower trapped in crystal, worth just one go with a genuine air pistol. When we were kids, we threw the cigarette cards against the wall and we lined the grenadier guards up on the carpet and you couldn't tr touch the trifle your Aunt Marge made to go in the church raffle. When we were kids, we hunted the circadia, the pet cockatoo bit like a barracuda. We were secret agents and fluent in pig Latin, gutsing on mulberries made our lips shine like black satin. When we were kids, we caught the Christmas beetle its brittle wings were gold-green like the wattle. Our mothers made bouquets from frangia pani. Hard to pronounce, a pink musk stick cost a penny. When we were kids, we climbed peppercorns and willows. We startled the stingrays and we wait when we waded in the shallows. We mined the sand dunes in search of buried treasure. And all this news pleased our parents beyond measure. When we were kids, the pus would wet the needle when you dug out splinters and the piss was called a piddle. The scabs on your knees would itch when they were ready to be picked off your self-renewing body. When we were kids, a year would last forever. Then we grew up and were told it was all over. Now we are old and the memories returning are like the last stars that fade before the morning. The first thing I like about When We Were Kids is that it's called When We Were Kids. It's not called When We Were Young with the perhaps over-melancholy implications that would have. 
It's not called when we were children, which would connote the same sort of distance between our adult selves and our childhood selves as between a young pupil at a school and an old and out-of-touch teacher. It's called when we were kids, with all the implications of fun and spontaneity and presumed immortality that that word carries. I also like very much its structure. Um, it proves, uh, and uh, well, it proves and it argues without ever doing so explicitly that our memories are, are not our memory is not a diary; it's a scrapbook. Um, it, it the poem sounds as if it's a narrative, but it isn't really. There's not really a strong story that goes through it, although it sort of feels as if it might be. And that very much is like memory itself. Um, we push it into stories and anecdotes. Um, those people who are lucky enough to have the talent to be writers put it into novels and autobiographies. But still, memory isn't a story. It's a collection of fragments, and that's what this poem is. Having said that I very much like the, the title, the start of the poem, I also um, have a profound affection for the closing couplet. Um, now we are old, and the memories returning are like the last stars that fade before the morning. As a thought, perhaps that's not overwhelmingly original, but one of the things poetry does best is to put things that uh, readers have thought and other writers have written um, into the best way they can possibly be phrased, into a phrase that just is so incisive and so memorable that it sums up brilliantly uh, with brevity everything there is to be thought about that thought. Um, the other thing that I really, really like about the end of that poem is that it sort of sounds at the beginning of the last two lines as if they're going to end with a rhyming couplet. Now we are old and the memories returning are all like, are like the last stars that fade before the morning. Actually, that's not a rhyming couplet, obviously, because the last two words don't rhyme. It's not even para-rhyme. They both end in ning, so they sound similar, but it doesn't quite fit as a, as a, as a rhyming couplet. And that, I think, is absolutely wonderful, because the whole point of the poem, the point of childhood memories, is that we don't get that closure in life of everything being summed up tremendously neatly, um, that a, a rhyming couplet, a sort of final piece of closure on the poem would, would add. What happens with life and with memory is that it slowly slips away from us, the ground drifts away from us and we're left with, with nothing, and or, but to start with, we're left with just memories and then eventually we're left with nothing, and that's what this poem does, the end of the end of the poem, the last couplet, sort of buckles underneath you and it slips away from you and you don't get the comfort that you think you're going to get from a very witty conclusion, which Clive James, who's the master of witty conclusions, could very easily have written. Clive James's audience uh, for television programmes is huge. Uh, his readership for many of his prose works is very, very large as well. But the sales of his poems suggest that a very small fraction of his television viewership and his prose readership actually think of him as a poet, and I think that's very sad. And if I could achieve one thing with this blog today, it would be to get one person who, whether they've read Clive James's works or not, to consider Clive James a poet and to go out and to buy a volume of his poetry. And uh, if you're going to do that, why not start with Angels Over Elsinore, Collected Verse 2003-2008. to 2008.